Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys, YouTuber over the years. And I will tell you, they have awesome, awesome, awesome bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. And they are super cute. I watched them today. Let me just uh, do a screen share here. I watched them today over on David M., the car boot picker. He had a live show with them. It was excellent. Excellent, excellent. Lots of great info dropped in that video. You can see it right here. So definitely go over to David M., the car boot picker, and check out that live show. It was really, really good. All right. Um, over the years, here is their YouTube channel. They specialize in glass, and I love it that they both have a passion for the same thing. They are the cutest little couple and they just love glass and antiques and collectibles and their channel is awesome. So go check it out over the years. Um, they're at 865 subscribers right now. Um, I don't know where they'll be when I actually post this video because you guys know that I do these videos and then I have to kind of keep them in line and it takes probably a month before I actually post it. So I'm guessing at the rate they're going, they're probably going to be over a thousand subscribers by the time this posts, but definitely go check them out. Um, and when you see this video, you're going to want to go. All right. The first item is this vintage art deco house lamp. It's house glass um, and it glows and it's super cool. And I will say that these two find so much glowing glass that it amazes me. And the stuff they sell, I mean, they're selling it for big money. Wait until you guys see this and they sell more than glass. But uh, I think you guys are going to like this video because it's a little bit different, the things they sell. So they picked this up at an antique lighting collector warehouse sale. They paid $25 for it, and it sold for best offer of $200, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Art Deco light oiler. Light oil. I'm probably saying that wrong. Light oil oiler? Oil is O-I-L, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Loiteler, <laughs> Macbeth, Evans, and it's a ceiling light. And they got this at the same warehouse for 20 bucks and took a best offer of 200 Man, I want to go to this warehouse. And again, it's got that glowing effect under, I believe it's black light. That's what my um, bunnies that I have, they glow under black light. So I'm guessing that's what they're using there. Another one, vintage Cambridge glass. This one is uranium. Um, I think the others, what were the other ones? Is that Vaseline? Is that how you pronounce it? Let me see. Vaseline. Here's yeah. Information. Vaseline. All right. So this one is uranium, and I love how they use this bright, glowing um, picture for their, their main one. It just, like, pops way more than the second picture. I love it. Um, so it's etched glasses in a caddy, and they paid $40 at an estate sale and took a best offer of $145. It's like I want to get a little black light flashlight and carry it with me to estate sales. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Super cool. The next item is this Castelli Garmin Barracuda Team Bicycling Jacket. It's an extra large. And this came from a thrift store. They paid seven for it and took a best offer of 50 with free shipping. Vintage Art Deco Uranium Glass Lampshade with Painted Flowers. So it says Vaseline. 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 Is it Vaseline or Vaseline? Vaseline. <laughs> I should have asked him before I went on here and sounded like a goofball. Um, we're going to call it Vaseline for the sake of this video. Um, but it says uranium and Vaseline. So I wonder, those are two different glasses, right? I am definitely going to have to get the, the details from him and, you know, go on his channel and maybe search 
Maybe he has a video that talks specifically about this. Uh, but anyhow, he got this at a yard sale for $15 and sold it for $189. That is amazing. And it's a lampshade with painted flowers. All right, this vintage mid-century modern sitting lady art deco table lamp. So again, just a really unique item. And he got it from that same warehouse. Um, I wonder if that's like an all year long thing that he can shop at because that's pretty amazing. 20 bucks he paid and sold it for 111 best offer. The next item is this antique 1850s mulberry ironstone uh, covered sugar bowl. Again, super unique, super different. And again, they love this stuff. They have a major passion for it. And, you know, it shows in their listings because, you know, they've got the, like the title. They just, they know what they're doing. It's amazing. Let's see. I mean, there's no markings. How on earth do they know all that? Just amazing. Um, so this came from an estate sale. They paid $20 for it and it sold for $126 plus shipping. This vintage Dale Earnhardt senior intimidator number three crew neck sweatshirt made in the USA. Bought it for $3.50 $3 at a thrift store and sold it for $35 plus shipping. This South Carolina vintage champion sweatshirt. Yes, I said champion. They got it at a thrift store for $3.50 and sold it for $40 plus shipping or $39.99. He rounded up one penny. Okay, I love these. Vintage McKee glass red dot custard Vaseline glass sugar shaker. So again, it glows. Who loves the glowing stuff? I do. I love it. Um, paid $15 and sold it for $125. And then you have the other one. And this came, this came from a flea market and antique booth type deal. And this is the sugar shaker. So it was 15 also, $15 and sold it for 125. So I figure they probably picked those up together. The next item are these vintage Vaseline glass, Italian crystal champagne, tall sherbet art deco. So they've really got the keywords down. You know, they're hitting all those words that people search. Uh, estate sale, $20 took a best offer of a hundred. So I'm guessing they go into an estate sale and they go straight for the glass. Like I go into an estate sale and I go to the glass last. All right. Just because I hate shipping it, but I'm going to be on the lookout for the glowing glass. Cause I love it. Vintage 1986 Thundercats unused pencil, lion O-topper, lion O-topper. So there you go. How cool is that? Got it from his mom's garage. So it was free and he sold it for $30 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Art Deco Herbst and Wassel Sterling Silver Poringer Dish. Like what is a Poringer Dish? Yeah, go to their channel and I'm sure they'll tell you all their secrets. Um, yard sale, five bucks, sold it for 80. The next item is this large opalescent glass diamond optic thumbprint open-ended lamp globe. My gosh, that is like a mouthful. Okay, um, from the antique lighting warehouse, paid 20 and sold it for 100 plus shipping. This Kenwood receiver remote control. Got it at a thrift store for $2.99 and sold it for $25. You guys, if you're not looking at remotes, some of them can be like a really better than a bread and butter, you know, but most of them are bread and butter, but there's some big money ones out there. So definitely be on the lookout. I usually don't, I, I usually lot them up just because I don't want to test them and I don't want to try to look them all up. Maybe someday I'll list remotes. I don't know, but right now it's just not my thing. The next item are these vintage, is that, uh, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say that either. Crystal champagne tall sherbet glasses, set of three. I, I don't want to say it because I'll probably totally say it wrong. It's L-A-L-I-Q-U-E. And then it's Barsack, I think. 
And these came from his godmother's house. So he got them free, sold them for $90 plus shipping. This genuine, genuine Yamaha remote control. So uh, it's a remote control. And he got this at a thrift store for $2.99, sold it for $20 plus shipping. All right, another glowing glass object. It's an Art Deco. Oh my gosh. Conant, Conant, Conant style custard glass shell shaped Vaseline glass slip. And I don't know what this is for, but he has sold two and has one left. I guess it goes over something maybe. I don't know. But it's big money. He uh, got this at the lighting warehouse. It's a shell shade. Shade. Hmm. I don't know what you slip it over though. $5 at the antique lighting collector warehouse and sold it for 60 best offer offer. And it looks like he sold two and has one left. His, uh, I should say their, their link to their eBay store will be down in the description of the video if you'd like to check out and see what else they have. This Ralph Lauren polo sailboat sweater, amazing, brand new with tags, retail arbitrage, shipping. These men's Nike, Nike Air Haraka, Midnight Navy Dark Ash Cool, gray, blue, size eight. Okay, these came from an online auction, paid $14.99 and sold them for $99.99 plus shipping. The next item is this relief band, drug-free motion sickness wristband. Bought two of them at a thrift store. It says thrift store slash flea market. Oh, okay, so they got them at two different places. Wow, lucky find. Thrift store paid $2.99, flea market paid a dollar, and they both sold best offer twice for $70 each. These men's Nike PG1 Elements shoes, online auction, $24.99, and sold them for best offer of $75 plus shipping. This vintage Boston Celtics jacket, it's a windbreaker, came from a thrift store for $7.50, took a best offer of $65. Hudson Outerwear Men's Shark Mouth Varsity Bomber Jacket, size extra large. It's streetwear. And got it at a thrift store for $7.50 and sold it for $74.99 plus shipping. Vintage Men's Extra Large Mossy Oak Tree Stand Hunting Coveralls. Paid $24 online auction and sold for $74.99 plus shipping. Antique CH Field. Haviland, Haviland, not sure. Uh, GDA Lim Limagos, Limagos. Oh, covered bowl. Why do they have to like be so hard to pronounce? Uh, here's what the bottom looks like. And I do believe he, this one was shared on my Bolo Buddies live show. So um, if you guys are not coming to the Bolo Buddies live show, definitely come check it out and bring your best bolos or any of your bolos. We love to see bolos. So he paid $10 for this at an estate sale and wait, sold it for 500 plus shipping. Amazing. The next item is this vintage signed Moorcroft pottery. It's a covered candy, like covered bowl candy box with lid. State sale paid $1. Are you kidding me? Paid $1 and sold it for best offer of $300. Oh, $1, you guys. I love the pictures. He shared this one at the Bolo live show, but he did not share where he got it and what he paid for it. So I'm a little bit shocked that he got it for a dollar. That is so awesome. The next item are these, more of those L word, L word, Barsac, Crystal, Bordeaux, wine glasses. This is a set of eight. Uh, Godmother's house, got them free, sold them for $274.99 plus shipping. And the last is this vintage Ralph Lauren polo jacket. Thrift store paid 10, sold it for best offer of $60 with free shipping. 
All right, you guys, again, over the years, YouTube channel, go check them out. So much good info on glass and identifying things. This one right here, how to clean vintage Pyrex. Yes, I need to watch that. Not that I buy that much Pyrex, but it would be like, it's definitely something to learn. So very, very cool. Auction time with Ma Dukes and Grandmaster Glass. Going live, so some live shows, some haul videos. Looks like they picked up some Pyrex here. Uh, tons of uranium glass sold on eBay and Etsy. And that's another thing. Um, I have not seen his Etsy store, so I definitely need to go and check that out. So if you click right here, let's just do it. Let's do it. All right, over the years, finds. And you can see some of their featured items. So yeah, here's their Etsy. And I just realized in the other featured seller video I just did, I forgot to go in and do the look through like I do. So look at all these cute little um, nursery rhyme plates. I love the glowing glass. Love it. All right, let's go into his eBay store, their eBay store. I think they do it together. Um, Moon Baby 1969 is the store username, but the store is over the years. I'm going to go to highest first just because it's fun. And we're going to look at some of their other active listings. Oh, look how cute that is. Left in big belly whimsical hobo decanter set. Whoa, look at this. $629. That is amazing. Again, you guys, I will have a link down in the description of the video if you'd like to go in and see what else they have for sale. If you'd like to look at some of their other solds, I did not feature everything. I just picked out some of the, um, I yeah, you know, just a handful of items that I showed you guys. I can't do every sold, so you can definitely go in there and check it out and learn more. But yeah, great store. Lots of cool stuff. And I do want to ask him the next time I talk to him, like sale time, like average sale time, is it more, is glass more of a long tail item or do these things sell pretty quick? It's one thing I should have asked him before I came on. All right, you guys. So again, if you go to their channel up at the top here, you can also find they're on, um, looks like, is that, no, that's eBay, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram and Etsy. So you can go and find all the places they are just from that one little spot. So great, great store, great information. Like I said, in that video I was watching today, um, from the car, I, I always say it wrong. David, the car, is it car boot? Let me look. David M, the car boot picker. <laughs> great live show. I mean, so much good information was dropped in that live show. So I shared it at the beginning. Definitely go check that out. Um, great content. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you all soon. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. If you go and subscribe to them, tell them Bolo Buddy sent you and have a great night. See you guys soon. I always say have a good night great night because I'm recording at night, but I always post my videos at 8 a.m. So it probably seems like so weird for the people that watch it in the morning. All right. See you guys.